Our Taken for a Ride investigation of charter school buses last winter found safety violations, fake brake tags, missing license plates, even falsified insurance. Investigative reporter David Hammer's story helped lead to major changes in our city's school bus regulations. And now that school is starting up again, David went to a city inspection station to see just how those rules are taking root. Wes Pfeiffer and his staff are checking drivers' criminal histories and approving hundreds of driver permits. Out of the 300 plus applicants, uh, and I'm sure it's over 400 actual applicants that are in the process at this point, we've only had to deny three okay. for criminal background check disqualifiers. But approving more than 350 buses to serve the charter schools has proven much more difficult. For safety failures, we're probably at about 40 percent. Three buses from Hammond's transportation came in while we were at the inspection station. The first two failed. The shocks on the front of the bus are loose. So that's okay. going to need to be rectified um, before we could actually pass this bus. That one failed too. Hey, how's it going today, sir? Suddenly, company owner Mark Hammond showed up and canceled his scheduled inspections for the rest of the day. Some charter schools have already started and only 39 buses have fully passed inspection. So the city is offering a grace period to September 1st. We're giving people time because we understand that this is a new process to everybody. A new process that became necessary after our taken for a ride investigation last winter exposed everything from unsafe school buses. A lot of deficiencies on the safety features, inoperable stop arms, busted glass, security hatches that were bolted shut. To insurance problems. We found more deficiencies with the buses having, uh, you know, no insurance, no registration. Mayor Latoya Cantrell's administration and the city council teamed up to impose new permitting, insurance regulations and school bus inspections. Ultimately, it was decided that these are for hire vehicles and should be treated in the same manner as we do limos and taxis. That hasn't been a problem for IDEA Oscar Dunn, a new elementary school in New Orleans East. All of our buses have passed inspection. All of all of our drivers have the right permits, the right licensure, all of that to ensure that we're good for day one. This is bus route two. The route Principal two. Chris so Joyce explains that's because they don't have a bus vendor. Bus. With 96 schools in Texas and Louisiana, Idea Public Schools can afford to lease their own buses and employ their own drivers. When we are able to um, have our own drivers, our own buses, and our communication system, families feel better. They even offer a scanning system to track every child. My information comes up here. If it is not me, error, then you're not coming on the bus. That's more advanced than the new requirements. Things like those alarms, security cameras are not required at this point, but we do encourage all operators to be as safe as possible. And just that would be big enough for a school bus system one city official called the Wild Wild West. David Hammer, Eyewitness News. Now, Hammond's Transportation is the largest locally owned school bus vendor serving at least 18 of the 79 charter schools in New Orleans. We reached out to owner Mark Hammond after he removed his buses from the inspection station, but he did not respond.